I'm Rick Johansson and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. In this video, we're gonna do an Inkscape tutorial featuring the trace bitmap tool. And I'll show you how to take a photo like this, extract part of it, creating a vector that you can then manipulate and do whatever your creative mind wants to do. So the inspiration comes from two different comments in the comments section. One comment was from Kansas City that said, love to see your take on murals. And the other was asking for astronaut artwork. So this, this is my take, this is an astronaut that is actually cleaning up the town. So we'll go from, let's actually give credit where credit is due. The, the base photo came from William Real. This was on creativecommons.org and I've got it linked in the description below if you want this exact photo. You'll notice I did clean it up. I took out some graffiti because I didn't know what it said, didn't want to offend anybody. All right, so let's go over the tool. If this is your first time using Trace Bitmap, I'm gonna show you on this example because it's very simple and works really well. So I'll put this link in the description below too. So you, you click on your image, go to Path, Trace Bitmap. Over here in your sidebar, you'll have the Trace Bitmap menu. You wanna be on Single Scan, Brightness Cutoff. So this is the default, the way it comes with. So yours should already have 0.45 for Brightness Threshold, Speckle, Smooth Corners, Optimize, all chosen with the options 2, 1, and 0.20. So I've got it selected, I'll click Update. You get a preview, gives you an idea of what's gonna happen then click apply and there you go. So check this out. So what brightness cutoff does is it takes the brightness and darkness and then creates a vector out of this. So this file you can now use any way you want. You can change the colors on it. You can change the size. It's going to scale perfectly. So just to show you the power of Inkscape, this took about five seconds in the render and you're off to the races. But what if it's too dark? Let's try it again with the 0.35 setting just to show you the difference. Update apply and you can see that you have a lighter version. So sometimes you'll want to go lighter, darker, or you can composite pieces of both of them. There's some other settings you can choose under single scan. You can get edge detection, auto trace, but let's move on to multiple scans. So I'm going to choose the NASA astronaut photo, go to multiple scans and choose colors. So for the number of scans, we'll choose eight. So that'll pull out eight different colors and the default has these unselected. So let's choose smooth stack, remove background, update. It'll give you the preview just like before and then do apply. Off camera, it did take about 30 seconds, but I was left with this, which is now a vector version of the image, which is good, but not great. Let's try it again with more scans. Back to the source image here. I'll have a link in the description below if you wanna play with this one. And two quick points. One, the source file itself was under one megabyte. I got this from the NASA galleries. So if you have a big source image, a file is too large, it'll either take a long time to process and render or it'll just crash. So keep that in mind as you play with this. Two, someone's gonna mention this, there's people on the moon here. So this is actually, this is a training session that, they've, that they taped and took pictures of. That's why there's a building here. So this is actually training footage we're using. So thank you for NASA for sharing. And let's go to 18 scans now. So everything's the same, multiple scans, color, 18, update, and then we'll click apply. And here's what we got. So this render took about a minute. I so I skipped over the processing part. But I want to show you what we have. So I'll double click and you can pull the different layers apart. And that's what trace bitmap does with the multiple scans. And I'll show you how you can actually extract one astronaut for the mural, but I want it to just be like look like a stencil. So to do that, we're going to go with another feature back to single scan. So let's go back to our source image. I'll click on this single scan. Now, if I do brightness cutoff, just the way it is, you see in the preview, it's gonna pull all the darkness. Well, I wanna pull the light. I wanna pull the white astronaut suit. So instead, I'll click on invert image. And I tested this before at 0.50 under brightness cutoff, invert image, update. This is what I want. Trace bitmap made the vector in black, but with one change of color, we can make it back to white. Now the question is, how do I extract just this part of this new vector that we created? So in Inkscape, it's not super intuitive, but it's easy. So let me show you. So grab the Bezier pen tool. And as an example, I'm just gonna draw a random shape around part of my vector. It doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter the stroke, the fill, just something see-through so I can see where I'm going. So I have opacity down. And what you're gonna do is you go to the selector tool you have that new weird shape selected, hold shift and collect your vector, then go up to path, 
intersection. And there you go. So now you have just that part. So you're taking out the background of the vector to whatever you need. I just reverted back to the full vector here. So a trick is if you want to be more accurate with your clipping shape, you can trace along the original and then just drag that over the vector and clip that part out. So let's do it that way. So I'm going to zoom in. I have my Bezier pen tool selected. It doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter the stroke color. Just start outlining the part that you want to take of your vector. And if you're if you don't want to make a mistake, you don't have to go fast. And if you want to take a break, just double click and you see how it's going to it's going to capture that little part of red to to recontinue where you left off. Just hover over the end node and keep going. So through the magic of editing, I will finish this up off camera and then I'll show you how we stamp it out. Actually, before we go, if you want to be very precise, you can go to edit paths by node and move any part that you want to get it just right. So this will come in handy on a detailed part or if there's some feature you don't want to leave out. All right, there we go. So we've got the whole thing selected, but another question comes up. I don't want to bring this interior part between the two hands. So we need to make another clipping shape inside of this, clip that out, and then we can go do the extraction. So it's same exact exercise. Just grab the Bezier pen tool. I'll just do it really quickly right here. Come down. I've got it selected. So this is a shape on top of the shape. So you see an opacity change here and the exact same exercise. So I go to selector tool. I have my interior shape, hold shift grab the rest of the astronaut, path, difference, and it comes right out. Zoom back out, I'll take the clipping shape and put it over our white vector, right about there. I know my shape is selected, I'll hold shift, I'll click on the white vector, then go to path, intersection, and there you go. So let's go move it down into the mural. A quick pause for full disclosure, I did have to add this little shape right here to get more of the boot to show, and I squared off this receptacle. I think he was collecting, practicing collecting moon rocks or something, but for our mural, it's gonna be a dustpan. So just to let you know I did that. So let's drag it onto the picture of the building. So you can see that it's a cool technique to pull out part of an image, but I wanna make it a little bit more realistic. First of all, I wanna paint the building so we'll make this blue. Then we'll do one more trace bitmap to pull the shadows out of this building so it layers on top of the astronaut. And finally, we'll add a pop of color. We'll make the sun visor a bright yellow. So to paint the building, I'm gonna create a shape around it through the magic of editing. Here it is. But I'm actually gonna use this shape twice, one to paint and then one to actually stamp out the shadows when we do trace bitmap. So Control D will duplicate it. Let's save that for the shadows. And for the paint, let's go with, let's take the stroke off of it. And for the fill, we'll go with some type of that blue we liked. Right about there looks good. And if you've seen my other tutorials, I'm kind of obsessed with the linear gradient. So I'm gonna go linear gradient, which is these bars here. If I click on the pencil, I can edit the gradient. And I think I'll have it go from full opacity and just almost have it like the sun's barely hitting the top there. Now I want to put the astronaut on top of the paint. So I want to drop this down one step. So these here are hierarchy. If I go down one step, then the astronaut comes up, but I want to do the shadows now. So let's go and click on the full picture, go back to trace bitmap. So path trace bitmap. I'll do my single scan and we'll try maybe 0.54 for the brightness threshold update and apply. Let's see what we pulled out of here. There it is. Let's pull this down. So we have to stamp this out now. We don't need to paint the building. And I'll bring my shape over it. Okay, and just like before, the shape doesn't matter the color or anything like that. I'm just gonna clip it. So I'll hold shift and get the vector we made from trace bitmap. Go to path, intersection. And here's our shadows. Now that's gonna be too dark. Maybe we'll go to fill and stroke. Let's lighten this up. Somewhere in there should be okay. Let's put it back on top. It needs to go up a couple steps. One, two, okay, now it's on top. Right there, so it's subtle, but now you have the shadow on top. It's almost like the sun's hitting it. You can see our mural, and I wanna make some type of visor work there. So for that, we'll go to good old Bezier pen tool. Actually, why go Bezier when you can just do a circle? So we'll try circle, shift to control, makes a nice round circle. Go to something more yellow or gold. 
full opacity for now. Maybe not full opacity so we can see what we're doing. All right, so there's the visor. Control D will duplicate it. And I'm going to do another path modification. So the top one, shift, get the bottom one, go to path, intersection. Let's drop it down a step. So it goes behind, maybe that'll blur. Maybe blur the astronaut too. And that will do it. There's our trace bitmap tutorial featuring an astronaut on a mural. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, put a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. And thanks.